Hey, what's going on, tribe? It's Red again, just hitting you guys up with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, so, guys, I think I did to give you a reading today, and this is uh, this is reading is going to be um, some messages that your soul wants your ego to know, um, and this is going to be a general reading. So, if the reading doesn't um, correspond to where you're at, you may want to check out another reader for some guidance and. My readings are timeless, so whenever you come across my readings, they're for you. And if any of you guys are interested in a personal reading, you can send me an email or you can send me a DM on Instagram. So let's see what, what your soul's got to say. Sick. All right, let's begin already. And the first card is self-esteem. And the card says, I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. So, what I get from this straight away is just your your soul's um, maybe experiencing lessons that um, need you to work on your confidence and self esteem. Um, so you may be having a solar plexus chakra blockage, um, and being called to um, do some work on that because most healers empaths starseed light works and all that um, we tend to work through our solar plexus chakra and we tend to get a lot of energy cords attached to that chakra as well um, and that's like one of them the solar plexus and the sacral chakra they're the two powerhouses um, for energy in this carnation um, so you've been called to do some um, some work on your solar plexus with your self-esteem you may have situations that are triggering your self-esteem right now um and it's okay to have low self-esteem um some of you may be experiencing that and you may or some of you may be stepping into your power and accepting that you have low self-esteem and it's okay to have low self-esteem um and once you start accepting it, instead of trying to fight against it you can start um start putting things in place to help boost your self-esteem and try not to get too attached to social media and what other people are like as well as what i'm getting because when you compare to others compare when you compare yourself to others that takes a toll on your fucking self-esteem guys um and then the next card is change and then the card says i understand that nothing can grow or evolve without change so yeah you're experiencing um a change um, your soul is evolving already, but you're experiencing this change on a physical level, um, which can be quite discomforting, should I say. Um, is that even a word? I don't know if that's a word, but um, yeah, it um, can bring discomfort, should I say. Um, so what I can see is a lot, so many people I do reading for are in the caterpillar stage, uh, the cocoon phase. So you're in the cocoon, you're half in the cocoon and half out of the cocoon and you're getting out but you're not just out yet um so it's going to be very uncomfortable and stuff but after you, um after your after you leave the cocoon you're going to be flying but um from a few people that I've done readings for um they're dealing with karmic lessons as a part of this cocoon phase and change um and the karmic lesson can be very very difficult um, to cut ties with, you can have soul ties with your karmic, um, you can have soul ties with your karmic, and they're, they're very hard to break, um, and karmics can be very fun as well, so if you're trying to, if you like fun and that, they might fuel your negative side, um, not, it's not a bad thing, there's no right or wrong, but if you're trying to progress, and say for instance, um, you you keep you keep doing stuff that kind of sets you back in a way. That's what a karmic can can kind of do. But they're very fun. But um, it depends where you want to go in your journey. Um, but some of you that um, a lot of people that I've been doing readings for really uh, readings for recently, um, they're experiencing this karmic lesson that they need to cut ties with to then progress to the next level. So um, if you're experiencing this karmic lesson, um, be compassionate with yourself because it is. It is hard. It is. It's not hard. It's it's doable, isn't it? But it's not, it is. It it does take work. And then your next card is empathy. And then the card says, 
I'm open to seeing both sides of a situation. So wherever you're at in your journey, try not to think it's good or bad because they're only experiences, um, is what your soul's trying to say. Um, because that's the whole point of the life experience. Don't um, try not to take it too personally and get too attached to any experience, um, whether it's good or bad. If it's good, then yeah, that's great. That's the more of the path that you're meant to be on because the path that you're meant to be on is meant to flow with least resistance. And if you're finding a lot of obstacles on your path, that's the path that you're not meant to be on basically so if you're experiencing a lot of um a lot of obstacles you're not on the right path um and being kind to yourself and some of you that if you're watching this video you're more mostly an impact anyway but some of you are becoming more sensitive to energy impacts are very sensitive to energy is what i'm seeing here um because i'm an impact and i can feel it all um yeah so try not to yeah, be kind with yourself at this time. Be empathetic with yourself. Um, show yourself some compassion. Yeah. <laughs> some of you guys need to surrender. And then the card says, I've released the need to control. Um, so some, yeah, some of you need to surrender to a situation. Don't try to fight the situation um, and want to step for it fast. You know, sometimes when we're healing and stuff, um, we're going for a transition, we want it to speed up and kind of, um, we want to be healed and so we don't have to experience what we're experiencing but that's like spiritual bypassing so whatever you're experiencing kind of surrender and sit with it and just allow it to flow through you without um, harboring it should I say because if you're sensitive to energy more time you pick up other people's energy and we're, we're transmuters of energy but sometimes we could hold on to the energy and make it our own energy um, but we're not meant to do that we're meant to just hold it and transmute it and let it flow and just keep the cycle going but um, if there's certain situations that, that are out of your control um, yeah you've got to just surrender to the universe and what will be will be if it's for your highest good it will come in if it's not then um, the universe will bring something better in anyway so it's a win-win um, and then your next card is envy and then the card says, I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. So yeah, you don't need to compare yourself to others. And where others are going, um, you you may not be going. And um, people may not be going where, where you're going. And that's totally okay. And people don't have to like you and you don't have to like people. That's okay. But you can still um, be in people's presence. That's the whole point of being, that's the whole thing of being an adult. Like, you don't have to like people, but you can just be civil, you know what I'm saying? Um... Yeah, definitely don't comp try not to compare yourself to others, especially where if where they're at on their journey, um, because no one's superior in or inferior. Everyone's got their own lessons in their journey, and you will have your own lessons in your journey for your soul's growth, and you have um, certain obstacles to face um, that are designed specifically for you and your soul's growth. Um, so don't think, oh yeah, this person's. Um, doing this and that he's spiritual or she's spiritual and they're grounded and this and that well they might they you, you, so, sometimes you don't always see what people are going through you know and um, or don't know what they've been through to get to where they're at um, so don't be envious people and another thing about being envious people want to be like other people but some people would swap what they got for what you got trust me like their situations without lo um, low key um yeah so that's more of a that's solar plexus once again it's another shit crop and then your next card is patience and the card says i accept everything happens in divine timing yeah like i was saying before everything's happening as it should um and things are unfolding as they should so there's no need to rush the process like i was saying if you're experiencing like a change like transitioning from a job um some relationships are coming to an end and you're trying to find ways of letting go and moving on some some situations holding you back it doesn't have to be relationship wise some of you guys it is relationship wise um but some of you are energy con uh, connected with certain situations that is blocking your blessings coming in so the longer that you're in this situation um or energy energetically connected to this situation you're going to be blocking your blessings from coming coming through because this is a karmic lesson and 
it's there to kind of stop your growth to a certain degree um, is what I'm getting. I don't know who that message is for, but um, it's for somebody out there. Um, but yeah, be patient with yourself as well. Um, the, the healing, healing takes time and it's not instant. Um, yeah, I'm healed and yeah, this and that. So um, yeah, it takes time and everything happens in divine timing. So if you guys are waiting for a certain something to come in, it's coming, but um, it doesn't come on the ego's time. Unfortunately, it comes when um, the universe decides to deliver. And and time isn't a real thing. Time is man-made. So. Um, yeah, just had to throw that in there as well for people that don't know. Yeah, and then your next card is relationships, and then the card says, I am attracted to those people who serve my highest good. So, listen in life, you, you, you attract people. I'm starting to notice it so much more. You start attracting when. You start attracting people and vibing people that's who, that's meant to be in your life. If you're vibing with someone um, and there's no resistance and you can be who you are authentically, listen, that is where you want to be at, innit? You don't want to be in, like, re this is not just romantic relationships. This could be with family members, um, co-workers or your boss and shit. Like, you don't have to like your boss. I'm just using it as an example. Um, if you can vibe with anyone um, and you can be, like, kind of genuine, like, can be, your real, like, yourself to a certain degree or whatever, they're the people that you want to hang around because they're going to be influencing you on a good level, um, soul-wise. Because a lot of relationships, friendships, um, even family members and stuff... <coughs> <coughs> A lot of them want to hold you back. A lot, Listen, a lot of people want to see you doing good, but not better than them, yeah? On oh God, I swear down. People, listen, check who's clapping for you, innit? That's all I'm saying. Check who's clapping for you. And more time, it's the people, yeah, that you don't know or haven't met that are supporting you more than people that you fucking know. Do you know what I'm saying? Listen, take me in. I swear down. Man, been through hella lessons, dog. On oh God. Um, but yeah, if someone's... Some of you are on this twin flame thing, it's funny. Well, some of you have got new relationships coming in. Um, but you need to, for this new new relationship to begin, you need to deal with this karmic situation, is what I'm getting. Um, but once you've, dealt, once you've dealt with this karmic situation, then everything's just basically going to start flowing in and you're going to be in the natural rhythm of things. Um, so you've got some loose ends to tie up. And you may be losing friendships as well because the energy starts to shift. Um, people no longer to um, resonate with you, friends, family, um, jobs, jobs and stuff. So you, um, the natural flow of life is growth and change. If things ain't growing and changing, they're stagnant and dying. Do you know what I'm saying? So that's something to be aware of as well. Um, but yeah, this year, this year's got a year of relationships and and um, coming together. You know, and change. I swear to that's what I feel on an energetic level anyway. Um, but yeah, some of you've got relationships coming in, man. But um, yeah, go for stuff that brings you joy on a soul level. Yeah, I'm speaking to your soul in this reading. Go to be drawn to people and situations that nourish your soul, not your ego at this time. Because the ego, the ego is done in it. The ego is finished. The ego is only gonna get people so far. If people that are um still fully seated in their ego, they're, they're going to be struggling in the next few years to come on, oh God. Um. <coughs> but yeah, relationships are wild. Which, yeah, uh, the rela relationship, listen, I, I, yeah, it's mad. Yeah, so, see what I'm saying? Um, happiness. And then the card says, I am aware that being happy means that I'm on the right path. And that's exactly what I was saying. Like, with any venture you're on, whether you it's relationships, jobs, or personal, anything that you're on, um, should be on the path of least resistance. When you're on the right path, things should just flow. F things should just come to you. You be attracting stuff. Um, you start manifesting stuff. That's when you're on the right path. When you're on the wrong path, there'll be hella obstacles 
obstacles, there'll be so many blockages, um, things will just won't work out, and that means the universe is trying to direct you in another way. It's telling you, no, this this road isn't for you, but it's a free will free will universe, so you can ch choose to listen or not listen. There's no right or wrong, but it's only you stopping your the learn slowing down the learning. You learn it at your own pace, really. But like I was saying before, the path is really. Some of you have been on a difficult path as well. And some of you choose the difficult path because I love the difficult path and it brings so much pain, but I've got to go down the hard road for some dumb reason. But where we're going, we don't need to go down the hard path. We need to go, start loving ourselves and go down the easy path because the easy path is, that's the way we're meant to be at, not fighting all the time. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, some of you may be wearing um, something with dolphins or connected to, to dolphins in some way. He's maybe um can a dolphin in your past life is what I'm getting. And your next card is forgiveness. And the card says I I acknowledge that harbouring resentment blocks the flow of love. Yeah, some of you need to definitely work on self love at the moment. Um yeah, loving yourself. Listen, if you're wherever you're at in your journey, work on forgiving yourself. Once you forgive yourself and f forgiveness is just the uh, it's like a catalyst it will level you up because once you can forgive yourself and forgive the other person and let go that's when you can move up and open your heart space and give and receive love but um when when you're not forgiving or don't know how to forgive it, yeah once you start doing self love and stuff um and start working with the forgiveness things will just flow naturally um but remember you're always forgiving um yourself you can acknowledge what the other person done but you're forgiving um them for yourself so you're not harboring onto resentment and anger and stuff even though they might have done you wrong acknowledge that yes they did this and that but i'm not going to harbor it and continue to carry it because holding on to negative emotions and energy is weighing you down and when we're we're going the energy is getting lighter so that it's going to basically be coming impossible to bring um certain energies to where we're going if that makes sense bro all right you guys are on one bro um but yeah work with forgiveness um some of these may want to uh start getting some crystals for the heart chakra rose quartz i recommend um <coughs> listen to some um forgiveness music what i find helpful is um if you leave it on in the background while you go to bed, you just heal while you sleep. <laughs> um, and you don't even know that you're healing. So if you want like struggle mentally to concentrate or whatever, slap it on when you're sleeping and just do your thing. Um, but yeah, guys, that's your reading. If you like the video, like, share, subscribe. Don't be shy. I see you guys watching, but I don't see you guys liking. Um, and like I said before, if any of you guys are interested in a personal reading, you can send me an email or send me a DM on Instagram anyway. But peace, love and light tribe and we're gonna hit you guys up real soon.